Hallelujah and praise the Lord, my dear family in Christ. It's your sister Genevieve here. I'm coming on here. Um, it's just before 12 o'clock. Uh, it's, yeah, it's uh, the 25th of July, just before 12 o'clock, um, midnight. <laughs> and, um, and, yeah, it's been a really long day. Um, but the Lord is good. And I just needed to quickly get on here and share, um, just an amazing thing that happened uh, this evening. I met up with uh, a couple of friends, um, yeah, and we we had um, had dinner and and it was amazing because the, uh, this precious sister in Christ of mine she shared with me how um, uh, one of the men in her church on Sunday uh, shared. With uh, with some of the people in the church, that um, this past uh, week, so yeah, th this past week, um, so obviously it was literally just in the same week, like a few days before Sunday church service, he had woken up, um, and he had, uh, and he had an angel. He woke up and he was wide awake, and an angel appeared to him. It wasn't a dream. He woke up. He was fully awake. And an angel appeared to him. And an a this angel spoke to him and said to this man, My master is coming to pick up his bride. And when my sister told me this, even now as I'm saying it, I have chills all over me. When she told it to me this evening, I had holy chills all over me. And, um, and I kind of misunderstood her at first. And I was like, wow, he had a dream? She goes, no, it wasn't a dream. It actually happened. He woke up from his sleep and this angel appeared to him. And that this angel spoke the words to him and said, my master is coming to pick up his bride. And so, <laughs> oh my goodness, brothers and sisters, can it get any better? We know that King Jesus is coming for his bride, but it's almost like he's just allowing more and more and more to be revealed, more to be said. You know, um, more mysteries are being unveiled. He's speaking so much, and um, and his coming is so 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 soon. Uh, you know, in the twinkling of an eye, we are about to be snatched up, my brothers and my sisters. Glory to God! Um, and I just want to encourage you to be excited and redeem and occupy the time in these very last moments that we have. We know that the Lord is about to snatch us up at any given moment. We know that. Um, we are the last generation. We know that Jesus comes like a thief. We know that he's coming at an hour that most people are not even thinking about. So I, I just wanted to share this with you um, because it just it was very profound. And I literally, I know it, it was told to me because I know the Lord wanted, wanted me, me to share it, to encourage all of you. Um, very quickly, th this is my prayer corner that like literally the Holy Spirit had me make this um my like my lounge chairs were were set up very differently, but he had me uh, rearrange everything in such a way um, quite a few months ago, <laughs> just um, just so that I could make this like this is all Holy Spirit inspired. So this is my prayer corner here. This is my beautiful waterfall picture there, and and um, hallelujah, and it's my beautiful. Kind of, kind of like a palm tree. Um, Jesus, the true vine, and I've got my beautiful flowers, and just uh, I've got my Bible, and um, just you know, it's just a little corner. That I, I, I kneel on that um, mat um, and pray, and just I sit in this corner, and I have time with my King, and and it's just beautiful, and um, and this waterfall picture that I have um, in fact very profound you know I um, I've had this waterfall picture for a while actually since since I was 27 years old I, I bought it when I was 27 and um, and you know it was only this year I, I mean I'm, I'm 46 years old now but it was only this year that the Lord reminded me the significance of this waterfall picture and why he had me buy it when I was 27 um, you know, we know the waterfall, you know, the Jesus is the water of life and, and um, you know, the water represents Jesus. He's the fountain of life and, 
And so when I was 27 years old, um, that was when I had that powerful encounter. You know, I was living in the world and I wasn't a Christian and, you know, I cried out to God, if you're real, what God are you? Like if, you know, if, if you save me, if you heal me, if you help me in my life, I, I will change my life and I will live for you. And I was just crying out in desperation for God to rescue me. Um, you know, um, I mean, I was broken. I was, I was lost without, without Jesus. Um, you know, um, and just empty, you know, um, not really wanting anything in, like not wanting to live. Just, I had no hope, no nothing. And I, and at the age of 27 years old, I had the powerful encounter with my Savior, King Jesus, that literally changed my, my life. And that was the encounter where, I was wide awake, and Jesus appeared to me um, in, in, you know, in all his glory, wearing a white shining robe with a red sash, arms outstretched. I love you, my daughter. I love you, my daughter. I love you, my daughter. And he hugged me, and I hugged him, and, and I just, whatever was attached to me, just literally could not stand the glorious presence of this glorious king. And, and I just, you know... <laughs> Like whatever was attached to me, whatever demonic influence, demonic activity, it just left and I literally felt like I was walking on air, like I was so light, like there was such a burden that was offloaded and um, and uh, then, you know, I, I began to realize that, you know, that, that the true living God is Jesus. I literally just had an, an encounter with him at the age of 27 and at that moment that this is happening, um, um, I hear a voice of an, and I had the understanding or the knowing uh, that it was an angel, and this angel spoke and said, "This is the God who created the heavens and the earth, the God that loves you with an everlasting love, the God that will never leave you or forsake you. His name is Jesus." And so this angel is declaring who this is, the King of all glory, King Jesus, um, and I'm just basking in His presence, and. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, like I opened my eyes and then I've still got my hands as if I'm hugging him, but he's gone. <laughs> the voice has stopped and I'm literally just fall to my knees and I start crying my heart out, realizing the magnitude of what just happened. And so, and so, um, that same year that, that I had that encounter was the same year that I, felt really drawn to this waterfall picture. I didn't know it at the time why, you know, but the Lord revealed to me this year that um that obviously it it was significant because that was really the you know, the same year the Lord revealed himself to me and then and then of course the message the Lord gave me when the Lord spoke to me and called me into ministry ten years ago, um, you know, obviously when I was living at, at my old house and I um, you know, I had that encounter with, when the Lord s spoke to me and basically gave me that spirit of boldness to do ministry. And he spoke the words to me, my love for you is like a waterfall, forever flowing and never ending. And so, so you know, I, I love this waterfall picture and it's still working even after all those years from, from 27 to 46, glory to God. Um, so now, I just want to quickly, before I go, I have something very profound to share with, with you from a sister in Christ all the way from South Africa. Um, her name is uh, Michelle, and she sent me a message. <laughs> this is gonna, you guys are going to love this. She sent me a message, and she said, Good day, Sister Genevieve. I, uh, I, I heard about your channel through Brother Philip, so, so Brother Philip through Crowing Rooster. He has a Crowing Rooster channel. And then she says, I just watched your video, so this is my most recent video, uh, in my car with my 13-year-old daughter. And I was reminded that on Sunday after church, as I was talking about the soon approaching rapture, one of the ladies I was talking to saw a bee around me. Then it got even better, because while we were still watching your video, a bee came and sat on my windscreen. I attached the photo for you to see. <laughs> what are the chances, my family? What are the chances? <laughs> this king of ours is just amazing. So there's her windscreen. She's sitting in her car. 
Can you see the bee there on the windscreen? <laughs> Let me just point to it just in case you can't see it. There's the bee right there, brothers and sisters. There's the bee right there. Thank you so much, precious sister, for sending that. Um, it was very timely as... Um, as uh, yeah, as the Lord led me to share that. So there's the bee, the bee. Everyone's seeing bees, bees, bees. The, the beehive cluster. <laughs> well, precious family, I love you so much. It was a very short message I wanted to to share with you all, and I want to encourage you to keep trusting in the Lord, keep looking up, um, and just get excited, rejoice, be ready for that day, um, because. There is a great celebration about to take place. There is a great reunion about to take place. God is about to wipe away all of our tears. Hallelujah. He is about to shout those words, Come up here! <laughs> all right. Well, I love you all so much. Have a blessed uh, night and see you all in the sky. Bye-bye now.